Good day and I love you. Welcome to the Daily Dose, your daily dose of well-being for July 9th, 2018. Happy Monday. I'm Heather Peterson Lockhart and I'm the Chiefess. I'm a well-being coach. So, we're going to kick off this Monday with a 60-second tune-in. This is a throat chakra Tibetan bowl. So, as I tone this beautiful frequency, you can picture a turquoise royal blue glow in your throat area and you can say aloud I speak and I hear the truth and breathe don't forget to breathe in through the nose out through the mouth So, the crap's really hitting the fan for a lot of people, isn't it? <laughs> I say that, and you're like, wow, you demented psycho. It shouldn't be fun for you. It is only fun for me because when the crap hits the fan and things get really, really bad, some of us decide to take a look at the shit. <laughs> and then we can do something about it. Because you don't know till you know. But then once you know, you can't unknow, right? So, you know, during this time of increased energy and illumination, we are encouraged to take a look at the patterns and the junk going on in our life that's not working, right? That's a really, really kind way of saying this shit is hitting the fan for a good many people. And so they're finding themselves, my hair's driving me nuts, pardon me. Uh, they're finding themselves um, uh, really dealing with a lot of anxiety and situations that are um, strenuous and uh, troublesome right now. So, um, I had a lot of people reach out to me over the weekend and the question was, can you help me feel better? And my answer is yes, I can help you help yourself. I wanted to tell you today, I'm super, super excited because we kick off a section in the Be Human Recalibration System in the village today called Create the Character. Um, I do, uh, we're, it, the, in the village it's ongoing. We worked a system, it's ongoing. You can drop in, drop out, do whatever, right? But um, I offer structured programs too where we work together. And so today we are kicking off the second section of the program called Create the Character. Um, I have done this process in my life many a time now. Um, when I first started cluing into myself, I, 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 uh, when I first started doing the work, which was when I decided to get sober and stop doing drugs and, alcohol and drinking a bunch of, a plethora of alcohol, and um, acting like a hood rat, <laughs> getting locked up and endangering myself and anyone and everyone around me, <laughs> um, then I, was, I started taking a look at my behavior and my tools or my lack of, right? And uh, I quickly learned that I had one tool. It was a big ass anvil. I knew how to crush shit and I knew how to take off people's heads. And um, that was about it. I had really uh, about that much um, <laughs> uh, amicable, well, I mean like I had one extreme or the other. I could be a complete and total people pleaser and I could show up and make everybody happy and you so love that I was there and everything was always fine and I had no needs and it was fine and everything was fine and that's why it was everything was, that's why I was so loved because who doesn't love someone that's always there and always cheerleading for you and they're always fine and they have no needs <laughs> right and then but of course that's unrealistic because I happen to be a human being not a human doing um, I don't think I knew that at that point well I did not know that at that time so I would you know try to operate this in, in this uh -huh mode and then my human beingism would kick in and I would realize I had needs and that I actually had some boundaries and didn't like what everybody else wanted all the time and so um, I would swing my anvil and I would squash crap uh, I would either demolish crap or I would escape it um, I had one character in the village of Heather and I called her I have named her the Terminator and um, as the village of Heather evolved, she really wasn't even allowed in the village. Um, she's not safe around children. She's not safe around others. She doesn't know how to reach an amicable solution. She only knows how to squash crap. So that makes her very useful uh, if we're under siege. 
um, and under attack, but not so useful for establishing um, cohesive and compassionate relationships and acting like a grown up. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, I had to get some other characters and some other tools in the village of Heather. And so I started creating them. And so in the Be Human Recalibration System, we create a character. We basically summon our warrior. We um, summon the parts that we want to have, that we want to show up to life with every day, that would make us feel empowered, that would make us feel like, I got this, I'm capable, right? And, um, and the thing is, by the time we're grown-ups, most of us have a very small, limited toolbox, if we have a toolbox, we, um, we generally engage in situations and relationships with those small amount of tools. When they don't work, we feel like we screwed up and we feel, well, like, how's this all supposed to work? You know, because I've, I've only got these tools. And so it's kind of discouraging. Um, and we've typecast ourselves. So there's only, there's only so many ways you can show up. My hair next time, put hair, note to self, put hair up. Um, so if we create a character, we have limitless possibility. The character can do anything. It's kind of like playing dress up when you're little. There's no wrong costume, right? It's just fun, more fun. And how good can it get? <laughs> and we really need that, that fun. When we bring that element to the table, when we're trying to heal ourselves and find new tools and give ourselves the permission to use new tools, it's flipping awesome. It's completely transforming, right? To make it fun. So today in the village, we kick off create the character section. Um, I'm super, super excited. And I wanted to share with you where that came from. And perhaps just listening to this today gives you some ideas to give yourself some freedom and maybe create a character within yourself. You know, um, you guys have seen me wear capes. I wear capes on some days because you know what? It's just a cape kind of day and I need it. Ha. Uh, but it's fun. It's really, really fun. And um, it keeps me growing and it keeps me from saying, well, you didn't do that right. Well, that wasn't the right choice, which I've known to do to myself. So that's what I have for you today. Um, if you would like for me to take a look at uh, your life and help you create some solutions so you can accomplish your goals and um, feel more like the person you really want to be in your life, I would love to do so. Go to www.thechiefdis.com and we'll be working together. Our card for today, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. We've been getting this one a few times lately, yes? Maybe that's the maybe that's the key here. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Thanks for joining me today. I love you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.